Leon Delos. Half our family had just left in Madagascar. Bubs, Max, Frida, and Yosha were now on a different journey in life. For most of the year, we were a family of seven, living, traveling, and working together, hardly being more than 50 feet away from each other. And now, it was just Brian, Karen, and I. And it felt weird, really weird. All right, Delos crew. We're only three now, you guys ready to go? Do. Do? Ready. What do you say, Mr. Brady, you ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Delos was quiet, and the bunks were empty. To be honest, I don't remember much from those first few weeks after everyone left. The three of us were adjusting to the new vibe on Delos, and we really didn't have the inspiration to film very much. Constantly moving, filming, and documenting everything this season had taken its toll, and we needed to rebalance and restart ourselves. There's this shot of me sitting at the bow for a few minutes. So what do we got, Rob? There's some shots of us putting fuel in Delos. There's a shot of me trimming my beard. And a little bit from Karen's birthday. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. It's a very, very special day. Good morning, Brady. Happy birthday. <laughs> 27, man. I remember when I was 27. No, I know. Oh, last year. It was like last year. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Everything's got its wonderful thing. Like in Chagos, we could swim in crystal clear water. But here, we get avocado, ham, eggs. Baguettes. That's a good ham. Mm -hmm. That's a good ham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! <laughs> but slowly, things started feeling positive. The inspiration returned, and we started filming again. We were welcomed into this beautiful country with open arms. Madagascar took hold of us, and we became part of the local culture. It was exactly what we needed. We just had a pretty intense laughing moment. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect anywhere we go, ever, anymore. It's just like this place is paradise, man. And we're going to Africa and I have no idea what's going to happen. I should ask her, I should ask her if she knows James Bond, the movie. We were constantly surrounded by beautiful smiling people, delicious food, amazing culture. And there were even other cruises around, which we hadn't seen much of since leaving Thailand about seven months earlier. <laughs> what do you got there, bro? Today is a special day. It's Sunday afternoon in Nosy B. We're going to the marina to do a cruiser barbecue. And because like, if you have a little bit of money here, you can live like a king, we bought three whole fillets. So we're gonna do like zebu fillet, a little bit of olive oil, a touch of rock salt, pepper, and then we're gonna take blue cheese and we're gonna crumble it on top 
and just blah. <laughs> And when we weren't meeting amazing people, eating and partying, we were working hard to get the next Delos video edited and uploaded. We had actually just finished an episode, and the mission of the day was to get it online. Yeah, we have time. You have to do it. It's a, open up your window because otherwise you're dying. Uh, we had to do a change change of plan. Okay. We have to go. Because our connection is not working either up in the house. So my son's connection is it's working. Ah. And he's waiting in his hotel. So you, we can do it from there. Perfect. Yeah, you're lucky. So there's a lot of people on the island for the big carnival and the internet is not working at all. Yeah, and we're trying to perfect. upload our next video. And Rudy is nice enough to be helping us with all of this, which is awesome. So we're on a video uploading mission today. Rudy is the go-to guy around here. He sailed to Madagascar about 25 years ago. He found paradise and never left. After years of hard work, he has created a sweet little yacht club and runs a fleet of charter catamarans anchored out front. All along, 25 years ago, that was only my house here. Here we go. Okay, I think we found a really good spot here. <laughs> Looking promising. Oh, yeah. See, look at this. You even get served coffee. <laughs> this is the place of the best. <laughs> so what's the name of your hotel? It's Hotel Benjamin, welcome. Oh man. We're in Madagascar. Most beautiful place of uh, Nusi Bay, so the world. <laughs> <laughs> Found the internet and we have it was at 3,000 minutes now we're down to 2,500 minutes so how long will that take it is 41 hours so that's just under two days but look at it now yep you heard Brian right the total upload time was hovering around two days of course that's if the internet stays connected and the power doesn't cut out like it does almost every day so we left my laptop behind and decided to see what this local carnival was all about. The start of the festival, and we're gonna meet Madagangsta and Bassa Lyon, the local rappers. Uh, <laughs> Let's do it. The streets are lined with people, man. I think there's a parade coming at any moment. <laughs> Once a year, Nosy Bay is home to a huge festival that brings people in from all over Madagascar. It just so happened to be the weekend we really needed to upload a video. It's easy to see why the cell towers were completely overloaded. from Nasibe. Yeah, listen, this is my, my friends everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah! <laughs> mini, 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 mister! Mother gangsta in the place! <laughs> a few weeks earlier, we met Basta Lyon and Mata Gangsta while they were shooting a music video on a local catamaran. Yosh and I didn't have a camera with us, but after partying with these guys all day, we ended up in the music video. Like, 
and Bud's put a glass on it. <laughs> uh, we're on our way to Delos. We're gonna take Mara Gangsta and his friends. What's going on, guys? <laughs> got, got in a taxi. <laughs> we're on our way, finally. So there's a lot of chaos going on. <laughs> Keep alive, so make keep alive, yeah. Keep alive, so make keep alive, yeah. Keep alive, so make keep alive, yeah. Hold them on now, come to my love, watch for the light. Come to my love, watch for the light. Hold them on now, come to my love, watch for the light. Come to my love, watch for the light. So ah ah, we keep alive, man. So ah ah. What's the plan, Mr. Ray? Well, we are uh, leaving, leaving our nice protected harbor, and we're gonna sail north and check out the northern part of Madagascar. So we're meeting up with one of our friends on uh, the Wild One, Martin. Martin from the Wild One, and uh, he's gonna take us rock climbing. And it's good to get out and do some sailing. I feel like we need a a little health kick, get away from the cheese and the meat and the beers for about a week or so. And we'll be right as rain. We're going to Nozihara. <coughs> Nozihara. Up by the Cape. And the conditions this morning are perfect for sailing. We have offshore wind of like 15 or 20 knots <coughs> in the perfect direction. So it's just after the beam. Seven knots through the water. Madagascar truly is a sailor's paradise, and it's easy to see why sailors have been stopping here for centuries. Apart from the beautiful women everywhere, the cheap rum, and the amazing provisions, there are sheltered anchorages and perfect sailing conditions. The wrath of the crazy Indian Ocean is blocked by the landmass of Madagascar, leaving the northwestern side completely sheltered from the wind and swells. And because of the sheer size of the island, the wind changes as the landmass heats up and cools down. At about midday, after the land has had a chance to heat up from the sun, the hot air starts rising high up into the atmosphere. This sucks the cool air down at sea level in to replace it. The result is a very predictable 15 to 20 knot onshore breeze. Later in the day, as the sun drops, the land starts to cool down. And because the ocean holds its temperature better than the land, the reverse effect happens. In the evenings and early morning, the cool land air flows out to sea to take the place of the rising warm air off the ocean. To us and every other sailor around, this means great sailing during the day and afternoon, followed by a calm, quiet anchorage every night. It was 7 a.m. and our mission was taking us north to a tiny island where there is one of the most beautiful rock climbing camps in the world. We'll probably have a good two or three hours of good wind before it switches and goes onshore. Easy. 
By midday, the wind had clocked around just as expected. Hey! Take it easy, wind. We've made it. And it was a good sail, except for the last 20 miles are like beating into 25 knots of wind, which is fun. We're here, now we have to find out where the wild one wins. Oh, man. That one got came, fucked, mate. That one came out of like two different directions. <laughs> now you can see him coming around this headland here. Two of them, man. Three bucks. We got butter, garlic, salt, pepper, fresh lobster. So we're in Nozihara, and there's this awesome, like, abandoned little rock climbing camp. It's got hotel rooms up there and there's a shower and looks just like a really cool place to chill. So uh, our friend Martin from Wild One happens to have some rock climbing gear with him. So we're gonna go give a little shot and see what's up. We don't know anything about rock climbing, but when we saw this island, we knew how special it really was. Nozi Antatsara, or Nusi Rock as it's more commonly called, is pretty remote. It's tucked into a very uninhabited area in the northwest corner of Madagascar, lying among the Nozihara archipelago. These islands look straight from the set of King Kong. The limestone has been worn away by the elements for ages, leaving behind a climber's paradise. Look at this place, it's really neat. The kitchen or something. Place for fire right there. Someone discovered this island long ago and saw the amazing potential for turning it into a climber's camp. Over the years, hundreds of climbing routes have been safely bolted. There are beds made from driftwood, sand, and beechwood, showers carved directly into the limestone, and even a little kitchen. How do you feel, Brady? Have you ever done any rock climbing before? I don't think so. I've climbed some things before, so guys, but... This is Martin from Wild One. We met in Cocos Keeley. Now here we are in Madagascar, and we'll run across him again. He's taking us rock climbing. The road is small for us since... We just came out there with Martin, the wild one. The wild one. <laughs> <laughs> and then you make this climbing, the laying knot. Huh? Yeah. Either give me a rope, huh? Yeah. Or... Or take it. Take it. The most important thing is that you never let go of this hand. Huh? And that would actually happen. You see, you can hold it with two fingers, right? Yeah. There's no pressure no on problem. it. Oh, nice. Nice play, actually. <laughs> Some few up there. Still scared of heights, bro. You have to, yeah, I've been scared of heights, you know. You have to trust uh, me and I have to trust you. How's the dinghy? Is the dinghy okay? Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see Delos? No. Have you sit back? Uh, enjoyed the viewer last time. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> right, come down. <laughs> So that was your first time, brother? Yeah, 
first time rock climbing, no, man. No longer a virgin. So, that was cool. Definitely intense. You get an adrenaline rush when you get to the top. And Martin's gonna lay me from the top, which is something I've never done before. Martin's gonna lay you at the top. <laughs> Martin's really gonna lay me at the top. <laughs> I wonder how I should do that, filming and be laying you in one go. Once I saw you standing there, I couldn't get enough. How do you feel? <laughs> How's it going, Bri? It's quite hot! I know! <laughs> Oh, that's that feel? That was pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's... That was good. Uh, I'm really glad that I have a rope to get me down, I can tell you that. <laughs> Woo! Now you can enjoy the view a little more. If you have any other, you down. Okay, come down. <laughs> they are not so much for view, these guys, huh? No. Oh, yeah. Such a rush, man. Like, I don't know. It doesn't look like much, but when you're up there, it's it's crazy. And Martin goes up at like a goat, a lemur, a lemur, <laughs> and I go up at like a a sailor that doesn't rock climb. We spent the next few days really enjoying this climbing paradise, pushing our limits. Go, Mr. Brady and learning from the wild one. <laughs> He's an unstoppable force. We're striving to be more like Martin. Whatever Martin does, we're gonna try yeah. and do too. We're gonna drink less. We're gonna drink smoke less. Smoke less cigarettes and be more active. That's the, the Martin plan. <laughs> the Martin diet. And when we got tired and our arms didn't work anymore, we headed to someplace a bit more familiar. After a few more days of climbing in this remote spot, it was time to head back to the main village of Nosy Bee. We were healthy, happy, and ready to do some more adventurizing. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and we have decided to leave Nosy Hara today, or this morning. Explore some of the amazing wildlife around Madagascar. Check out a sweet waterfall 
and win first place in the Nosy B Regatta. Okay, sweet. First thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> Mm. You like it? I like it a lot. Oh, give, us, give us good luck here. Oh. Don't give that creepy face. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's my face. <laughs>